Well, good morning, Calvary. Happy Monday to you. My name is Robert. Hope that your week is off to a good start. You know, as you begin your day today, I've got a question for you. If you could pick one piece of knowledge to pass on to your kids or grandkids, what would it be? Would it be to, to remember that secret chocolate chip cookie recipe and that little dash of an extra ingredient to make it tasty? Would it be to always remember righty tidy, lefty Lucy? Hopefully it would be something a little bit more important than those things. See, my wife and I often talk with our kids about how our desire for their future isn't tied to a specific career or activity path, but on trusting in and following Jesus with their life. And Paul expresses that same desire for the people he knew at the Colossian church. Listen to what he says here in chapter 2 of the book of Colossians. He says, For I want you to know how great a struggle I have for you and those at Laodicea and those who have not seen me face to face. He says that their hearts may be encouraged, being knit together in love, to reach all the riches of the full assurance of understanding and the knowledge of God's mystery, which is Christ. Hear this, he says, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. Here's some of what he's saying there. He's saying that he's carrying a burden for them, not just a desire or a wish, but a burden, a, a strong longing for this to take place. And what is that burden? Well, it's that they would have unity together, but really that they would have a full understanding of who Christ is. But listen again to what he says at the end. He says, in whom are hidden all the treasures of wisdom and knowledge. See, we could seek to instill all the knowledge possible to our kids and our grandkids, but what Paul is reminding us is that Christ contains the treasure of all of this. There's no greater thing than to understand Christ according to what Paul's saying here. So what does that look like for us? What does it look like for us to have this burden and this desire to share for those in our life? Well, it starts with us getting to the place as individuals where we're personally living in such a way that the good news of Jesus is truly the most important thing. It means living like Jesus truly is, is the treasure and the most important thing. More important than our careers, our hobbies, our money, our possessions, even our families. Because if we want to pass down the fact that Jesus is important to our kids, our grandkids, our friends, our family members, then we have to live it out for ourselves. So let me leave you today with a question that only you and God can answer. And that is, what is the treasure of your life? What is the most important thing for you? I pray that that thing might be Jesus and that you would live in light of that today, and that you would truly find your treasure in your relationship with Christ. We'll see you next time, Calvary.